Hello again, and thanks for using UltraView Desktop Manager. This video is shot in 4K on a 4K screen, so be sure to select the highest available playback quality when watching this. We're back on our 4K screen with font scaling set to 100%. Uh, we've signed out, signed back in, now we're ready to set up some screen splits to make this single large 4K screen behave like four smaller 1080p screens. If you do the math, you'll see that a single 43-inch screen with 4K resolution is like having a 2x2 two two array of 21.5-inch screens, each running 1080p resolution. That's actually identical size and quality uh, with our ZenView Quad 22 array, except there's just a single monitor connection instead of the need to connect four separate DVIs to your PC. There are pros and cons to each approach. A quad screen is a better choice when you have multiple separate PCs, um, and there are a few applications programmed in such a way that UltraView can't intercept their window drawing functions and reposition them consistently, uh, but we can come back to that detail later. For now, let's start with a simple preset 2x2 two two split. Right-click in the empty desktop background, mouse over UltraView Desktop Manager, click Monitor Configuration, Here's your single 4K screen, and in this example I've connected a second smaller screen off to the side just to illustrate selecting a screen. When you click on it, it's highlighted, and you'll see its resolution. Make sure that you've got your 4K screen selected. Then click Splits and Padding. Click on Preset Splits. You'll see a bunch of vertical, horizontal, and grid splits. We're going to choose a 2x2 two two grid. So now you have four 1920 by 1080 subscreens. Click OK. Notice the splits now on the 4K monitor, ready to apply. Also notice these four checkboxes at the bottom. Make sure all four, uh, all four are checked for the moment. Now we're going to click Apply. The task bars will pop up, and the wallpaper will change. It'll take a few seconds. <laughs> there it is. Click OK. Now this looks more like four monitors. We've got task bars on each. The wallpapers add to the effect. And now when you launch an app or move a window, you have these extra icons up in the title bar. This is the move to monitor icon. And you can move it to one of these virtual sub-monitors. Let's launch a few more browser windows so you can see this function uh, on these four sub-screens. Uh, in any browser, Control-N launches another browser. So two, three, four. Let's, uh, let's load four different news sites. Here's one. Let's move this window down here. Here's another site. And let's move this window up here. And at the normal magnification, which you can get by hitting Control-0 in your browser, uh, you'll notice you've got a lot of uh, you've got a lot of white space on the edges uh, of every page. And this actually, uh, uh, one way around this is you can simply zoom in on the page. If you hold down the control key and scroll your mouse wheel in and out, you can increase the magnification on pages. And uh, back down to the default, 100% is simply control zero. Um, but for a lot of these websites um, and a lot of applications in general, you'll find that 1920 by 1080 is, uh, is probably a little too wide, and it's not, uh, it's not the most efficient use uh, of a 4K screen for business applications. So in the next video, we'll show you how to split it into six screens, three over three.